Today I am bringing y'all this stunning, alluring, beautiful, vixen-esque inspired throwback OG doll makeup tutorial. And I know y'all are gonna love it. My bad y'all, I don't have storage, so I'm gonna make this really, really quick. What is going on, you guys? It is me, no other than the Bronx Marley, and I'm the greatest edition of YouTube 2018 or 19, one of those I forget. But here we are in 2020, freaking four. And I've been the greatest edition in asset here on out. So why not join this combat, baby girl? I want you to be here. You want to be here. You high key need to be here, baby girl, just because we serve drugs. We sometimes be serving a little bit of tea. But overall, baby girl, since y'all met me, all we've been doing is serving. <laughs> but you guys, today's video, I just wanted to go ahead and bring you the makeup look that I did this weekend. I loved it. As y'all can see, a lot has changed about your girl. A lot. <laughs> but I decided to do this look and... You know, I posted on my story to see if I should film it and y'all voted, yeah. And I needed some content for YouTube and to bring in the 2024 year. So what a perfect way. I think so. But without further ado, you guys, if you're interested in seeing how we achieved this magnificent makeup look, please continue to watch. I'm over here watching the original Raisin in the Sun for the first time. I have no clue what's going on in this movie. Wasn't there a version with Denzel Washington? I think it was Denzel Washington. I don't know why I think it's either Denzel Washington or P. Diddy. But I know my grandmother used to watch it because I remember that part when she was like, Howdy do, neighbor! <laughs> I am going to color correct. Now, your girl wasn't going to come on camera without my color correction on, but why not? But I'm a real girl. I'm a real... <laughs> So I figured I can at least like show y'all the, the real, like she, she pretty, but girl, she is the process too, just like you, like uh, whatever jail. This look was actually inspired by my client. I had a couple of my palettes laid out and my MAC Aaliyah collection palette, the palette that we're gonna be using for today's video, was spread out across the table. And she picked it up and she was like, okay, I like that gold in that. She was like, you know what, let's just use the palette. And I said, you wanna create a look out of this palette? She was like, yeah, let's just keep with this palette. And I said, okay, cool. So we usually have an eye look that we do for her. I'm going in with my Granada foundation stick from Juvia's Place. So I was still trying to replicate like the same concept that she likes with her eyeshadow look. She likes the shimmer on the lid, her dark crease, and a little bit of brown, just like blend it out, you know. So I was like, okay, I'm going to give her something similar to that because I know what she likes. But if y'all look at this, these colors are very, 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 very cool tone. It's definitely reminiscent to that 90s era because this is the MAC Aaliyah collection. I don't know if y'all can find this. I got this before I even started working at MAC. <laughs> she was actually my, I think my second time ever using this in like what, four or five years? But I looked at it and I was like, okay, let me just like do something. So as I'm doing her makeup, I'm like, this look looks kind of familiar and like I'm low key eating it up right now. So I was like, oh, I know who it reminds me of. And it reminded me of an Aaliyah Che look that I had recently just screenshotted, if y'all can see to my phone and I was like I really want to do this look but me I didn't have any eye contacts or anything at that time so I was like I'm gonna pay it girl after I did her makeup and it came out so cute I went and got my toes done I went to the smoke shop to get some contacts and I told myself this is going to be the look that we wear tonight for China's party and the look was just so cute on her I, I had to and then when I just looked and I sat back I was like damn like I don't know like this is about to eat <laughs> I'm going with the Dominica foundation stick just to give me a little more zhush under the eyes. I think what was most difficult for me the entire time was literally like trying to figure out what the hell am I about to wear. Using my Clinique Even Better Refresh foundation in the shade 115.5 Mocha. Will say the only thing about the makeup look that I did not like or appreciate, I guess, would be the foundation. This is not meant to be a full coverage foundation. It's not supposed to be long wearing. It's supposed to be hydrating in every day, like bb cream type of foundation if you will but i wasn't thinking of that at the time y'all was just thinking about my face being beat and i was so used to like my makeup routine being what it is now so that's all that was going through my mind i had such a blast that night y'all like when i was getting ready i had one of my little friends come over and he basically helped me like choose what i wanted to wear because it's one thing for us to be women and you know be like oh girl that's cute that's cute that's cute girl no shade the set was getting fish and it was a tradie set 
So I wanted to make sure that my look won't just gonna be cute for me. Like, just being real, just give me the buck. I had to make sure, like, you know, I wanna go with the outfit that the dude is gonna choose because if this dude is choosing it, more than likely another dude is gonna choose this outfit. Space time, my nigga, while my other nigga laying there. I know that sounds crazy to say, like, I had a dude choosing what I was gonna wear for other dudes to choose me. <gasps> yeah. <laughs> But nevertheless, he picked the perfect outfit. I looked so cute. Oh my gosh. And let's get into the night. I swear if I had blonde hair, y'all would probably think I was cosplaying a white woman. It's not the look just gives and just trust the process. But I'm gonna take my medium, my medium mineralized skin finish from MAC and a damp beauty sponge. And I'm gonna take this and not necessarily set, but set and brighten just the inner portion of my eyes so that they're highlighted. So I actually had pretty bad anxiety before even like getting there while I was getting dressed. Like I was trying to turn up and stuff, I was doing my adult activities just to prepare myself for the night, whatever may happen. I usually go out by myself. And if I do, I don't really do like certain types of like events too, too, too frequently. When you're a, a specific type of girl, you just don't know how everybody's going to give it up. So I have to always be mindful of stuff like that. So on the way there, I'm just like, you know, talking to myself, praying to myself, like, you know, God, I just, you know, got me through the night. I trust that everything is going to be okay. Like, you know, I'm not, I'm not sweating nothing. You know, I'm good. And so that was before I got drinks and stuff in me. I ain't gonna hold you. I was still a little like nervous, but I was a lot more confident in my protection, like going in there. And I'm not gonna hold you. I've gone once before in 2019. Obviously I, I was a completely different person then, but it was lit then, but something about that night, something about this night was like, oh baby, we about to have a blast. I, from the moment I got out the car, from the moment I got out the car, I was low key turning heads. So when I got into the club, like at the door, like it was like dudes were trying to shoot their shot, be flirtatious and so on and so forth. And I'm a girl, I love me some men and I love to flirt. So I'm not going to stop. But at the same time, I also, like I said, in certain environments, certain situations, you never know how the world is going to be receptive to you. So I'm not even going to get that inkling as though I'm trying to, to play with nobody's time, nobody's man, nobody's life, especially not my own. Girl, it gave, I'm that girl. You see it. You really on my body. A lot of you. But I'm not going to give it up like that. <laughs> Not too, too, too much on me because again, this was actually my homegirl's birthday, China. <laughs> actually invited out for my homegirl's birthday. Shout out to China, happy birthday, babe. She looks so good. She was turnt, she was feeling her oats and I love it. Soon as she comes to get me to bring me into bring me into the section baby all hell breaks loose and i do mean that in the best way possible i'm looking pretty crazy y'all but i was looking even crazier than i am just trust the process if anything i think it's the context that make it a lot scarier it's not that unapproachable in person but <laughs> you know I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows off camera really quick and then we're gonna come back and focus on this eyeshadow look. Let's not waste any time, y'all. Let's get straight into it. So I'm gonna go first off into this pretty cool brown tone right here. It looks a light, but the pigmentation is actually a bit deeper than what you think. So this is actually what I'm starting off with this one instead of this one. So I'm gonna take this, take this Fuchsia Cosmetics Precision Brush. I'm gonna focus this in my crease not have to be the neatest but you do want this to like i said cover your crease and even be blended a bit outwardly especially in the inner corner because it's going to make it look like your eyes a bit more sunken in and then when we get to the tail we're going to kind of sort of like wing it out and like i said you don't necessarily have to be perfect you just want to focus on getting that shape exactly where we want it so i'm going to take this blending brush from i believe anastasia beverly hills and I'm going to go into that lighter brown base sheet right next to it. We're going to place this kind of sort of on top of, but also on the perimeter of the shadow that we just did, just to blend this into our skin complexion. Do you see how it's just softening up that shadow that we placed on top? We don't necessarily want to take it away. We just don't want it to be so prominent. We blend up into our eyebrows in this house.
Look at that. Look at the blend. Can you believe that this eyeshadow palette was like five, six years old? Yeah. <laughs> when did this come out? I know it was right when I started working for MAC. I'm gonna take this Black Radiance Crease Brush, number nine, and I'm gonna dip into this very, very, very deep shade down here. This palette was perfect for Leah. And then taking this flat brush, I believe this is from Anastasia Beverly Hills. But I'm gonna pick up some foundation, concealer, whatever may have you. And I'm going to lightly place this along my lid to clean up. And I'm not doing this super big like I would usually do. I'm actually going to focus this specifically on the lid under the crease. And we can even wing it out of it. And it still doesn't have to be the most perfect. Then taking this pretty, pretty gold shade from the palette going to pack that exactly where we just placed my concealer. I'm going to go ahead and do my liner, lashes, and mascara off camera, and I'll be right back to finish off the face. <laughs> so I told y'all, trust the process. Just trust it. <laughs> but anyway, let's go ahead and move on. So as soon as we get into the section, they got a shot, like, just ready. I see some people that I've met before, some new faces, some familiar faces. And all in all, everybody looks good. Everybody looks like they're having a good time, just chilling and stuff. Now, I'm like really excited. By the way, I'm using my Fenty Beauty um, Mocha Mommy bronzer just to bronze up my skin. I was really excited because, you know, this is my first time like really hanging out, hanging out with the birthday girl since, what, like 2021? I'm not gonna hold y'all. There was some point throughout the night where something just came over me and I realized, well, the birthday girl got a lot of people here, you know, showing her some love and stuff. I didn't expect her to have me at her hip the entire night whatsoever. But I also in that moment realized, damn, I really only came here for her. I only really know her like that, you know? So eventually, so eventually, it got to a point where I'm literally in the club doing my own thing. I feel like that to an extent. Because like I said, I'm using my MAC Luffing Blush Oldie But Goodie. I'm using a lot of MAC in this video. I felt bad because like I said, I came for the birthday girl and I ended up in the middle of the dance floor, like out of the section. My girl had a whole section, VIP section and everything, red carpet. Like I'm talking like my girl was doing her big one. And hear my ass going to dance floor dance with strangers. <laughs> but it was such a freaking blast. It was such a blast. Because, you know, being that I am a pretty extroverted introvert, and I'm just going to say that I'm more of an introvert. I just think that, like, I'm just like a lone wolf. I do my own thing. Because no shade, like, there are people in the section I was trying to, like, dance with and stuff, and they just weren't feeling it. <laughs> so, like, it was a nice vibe to be out like in in the crowd in the gp general population we're like people are like you know bitch i'm turning up you turn it up let's turn the fuck up like <laughs> so it was nice i will say there was one man there i know he's not gonna watch this video i know somebody not gonna know who the freak i'm talking about but i'm just putting it out there there was a man there can't remember too too much but he was about my height with my heels on damn so he's probably about five. He was probably like five eight, five nine. He was skinny. He had on tan. Like he had his shit on. He had his little hat on. He had his sunglasses on in the club. Like I think he had on sunglasses. If he didn't have sunglasses on, he had this shit like his hat covering his face. I think he had like little locks or something. But when I tell you, like all I know is I was on the dance floor and I thought I lost my bag and my phones. I went back up to the section and he's like. Not guarding my stuff, but like my stuff is being protected. I don't know if he was intention, like intentionally doing that, but shout out to him. <laughs> I didn't talk to him. I didn't know nothing about him. The energy just gave like that's my type right there. Hey, Buski. <laughs> yeah, all in all, I had a pretty great night. I will say I left at that club like two, three times, and I know that I wasn't supposed to go back in here. I know what was it. But let me tell you this when you're the five. You get privilege. When you are cozy. 
when you are comfortable. And I don't do it for the privilege. I just live my best life because I was prepared to walk outside the club, but my ride wasn't outside. I was ready to go home and everything. Like I danced walking out the club. My ride wasn't there. So I stood outside for like five, 10 minutes and it was cold, but my homegirl called me. So I went back in the club and they let me back in. <laughs> They was like, oh yeah, she, she's VIP, she's VIP, she good, she good. And I was about to go into the other side because there's two sides in the alley. But I was like, you know what? I ain't gonna do it, I ain't gonna do it, I ain't gonna do it. Cause I, I don't know, let me just, I don't know. I don't know why I didn't go to the other side. But I'm here to tell you guys, in a world where they don't want you, I'm using Mac again living your best life being your best self you gotta do just that unapologetically there are people in this world who just won't get it they won't get what it's like to always be isolated and ostracized and, and made to feel as though you're different even amongst people where you know you share commonalities you're just Cast it out as though there's something different. Embrace it. Because that night, when I was dancing in the middle of the floor, when I was dancing with random strangers, I wasn't thinking about who was trying to hurt me, who didn't like me, who didn't like what I, I looked like, what I had on, what I, I didn't think about that. I didn't, I didn't care if my teeth was cut. I didn't care. Because I'm a light. In that room, I felt like I lit up the entire club. And that's how you need to feel. Move right along, we're almost done. So I'm gonna take, again from MAC, my Scent Lipstick. And line my lips with it. Now, I am going to take this black pencil just because black lip liners with red lips are everything to me, but they have to be done properly. So you have to be very careful. I'm gonna take this in I'm gonna take this and carefully line my lips. Focusing more so on the perimeter of where we just placed that scent color. Mm-hmm. Just like so, this is beautiful already. But this is not the lip <laughs> at all. Again from Fenty Beauty, I'm gonna take my uncensored. Baby, oh my God. <laughs> Stopping y'all here from Amazon, this shit is ridiculous. This is my second install. But this is the final look, you guys. My hair, of course I added baby hair to it. And you know, it's it's not really going to fall how it's supposed to fall, but. Whatever. But this is the look. Oh, wait. This is the final look, you guys. I thank you so much for tuning into this video. If you enjoyed it, if you enjoyed me please leave me a huge thumbs up as well as leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you guys thought about this video, what you'd like to see in future videos, or if you really miss your girl and you're like, B, I'm just checking in on you, boo. I'm just checking in on you, boo. I would greatly appreciate that. Don't forget to join this compact by hitting that subscribe button as well as the bell button right beside it just so that you're notified every single time I do decide to upload. You can keep up with me on all social media platforms at Bronze Marley. I love you guys so much and I will definitely catch you soon. Later, Vixens.